Wild Side Radio Show, the wildest radio show on the planet. It's Corey on the Wild Side Radio Show. Corey here on the Wild Side Radio Show, broadcasting from prior Oklahoma. Yes, the Rock Event 2009, the third annual Rock Oklahoma event. These guys have been here every year. I got the band Warrant. Yes, I've got Joey and Eric. What What's going happened? on, guys? What's happened? We're just hey. Enough prior. Yeah, we're. Uh, Thanks to our prior visits here, we wanted to come back and uh, and rock this place. And rock this place. And Again. So, uh, like that, we got a new singer in the house. That's right. So we, we get the privilege to have Mr. Robert Mason himself step in here. This is all Stoli, by the way. Stole that. That's the new Stoli water. Well, Stoli is from Kip Winter. Our third year, we've got third singer we finally got it right i think i think so i mean uh you know what there's a, there was kind of a, a conflict i guess when janie left but when robert stepped in i was very surprised i mean yeah, you guys as just as, I was. We had as always <laughs> I, I didn't even know till three shows later they told yeah, me when we asked mr Who's that guy? when we asked mr lane to, to leave we, we uh we most deeply think where i guess I think so too. I think Robert says that every now. time. Every time Robert's here, he says that. Yeah. Well, he's not here. All day. <laughs> what did he say right before I showed up? That's what I want. Well, to they were talking say. real dirt about you about yeah. something. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Yeah. yeah. Some dirty, dirty <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We'll get Robert in over here. But yeah, you know, actually, Robert's my neighbor in Phoenix, yeah, Arizona. I know, all of them. I know all these chicks. Yeah, chicks. yeah he knows oh, all boy. the ones that are down here. Yeah, you can take that any way you want I out there do. in Radio I mean, Land. Is that Biblical sense. Is that I mean, it's right there. Yeah, we got Kathy and Nina. And yeah, there's a few other, you know, there. Huh? Nina Barbarina. There we go, Jerry. Have a seat. Hey, Four out of five, eight. Woo! Uh, all right, now you guys, you know, you did the third. This is the third at Rock Home event for you guys. All right, uh, so now you guys are just screaming all the way. I mean, you're doing tours all over the place. When's the next LP gonna come out, Jerry? We don't put LPs out. We're gonna put a CD out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I do not bump. An MP3. We're yeah. working on it. You're working on it. Good. We're just. Uh, well, first they wait, but then they make a wax mold. Is that how we're? They, yeah. They oh, that's LP still. I <laughs> right, think that's right. it. Right. Then they're, 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 they're gramophone. Well, hopefully, <laughs> we'll have something out uh, mid by mid year next year at the latest. So. There you go. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're definitely going to be concentrated on that. And, uh, just, you know, just taking it slow. We're not going to force it. Writing as much as possible and just. Well, you guys still have a lot of dates and tours set up. Tell me about the, and the fans about this VIP experience that you, they can get off your website. Yeah, that's a cool thing. We just thought we always get requests for people to come down and hang out and really see what goes on, come to a sound check, just hang out with the band, you know, without the meet and greet type shuffling right. in, shuffling out. So, you know, it's not for everybody, but, you know, the people that are real diehards seem to enjoy it. I mean, if somebody, yeah, if you've ever wondered what the whole experience is really like from the time we walk through the doors in the venue through after playing the show, you get to see a whole lot more than you would if you just bought a ticket. Absolutely, and they can do this off your website, right? Yes. yes. And the website address is warrantrocks.com. Warrantrocks.com. Cool. There you go. I got there some you go. uh, yes, it does. stuff here for you, Robert. <laughs> I don't have anything for you. You know, nice. You're like my I buddy. Said, this interview's over. <laughs> this interview's over <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> I'm done with you. He's ended Jerry. this interview twice already. All right. <laughs> no. Dude, not the car. Yeah, oh, there's something yeah, about the shorts, this. The shorts. There's something about this tattoo collection. Now they said if anybody asks about your tattoo collection, you're willing to show us all about it. That is so stupid. Uh, I want you to look at the picture on this. Those are the shorts, dude. Woo! Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Steven. Yeah, Steven's not here. Yeah, that's right. Steven, the, I know Steven's not here, but this is the one I like about Steven is with the fanny pack. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that classic? <laughs> <laughs> that is so 80s, dude. The funniest that, thing, I think I had one wow. tattoo at the time. Wow. That's I like still only have four. So yeah. Wow. But then, of course, yeah, we got Eric Turner. This is the back in the 80s, right? Yeah, see, I look cool. <laughs> you look cool. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in, like, Josie and the Pussycats. Now, the day they took those pictures, management said, just stop by, and they're just going to do it for a magazine or something. <laughs> whatever you're wearing, just... So you all embarrass yourself. Pop in, you know, yeah. with whatever you're wearing. Yeah, the, the so one legacy thing that, you know, is going to be around. Yeah, well, whatever you're wearing. If they take a picture, it lasts forever, Jerry. That's the thing. Yeah, that, well, that magazine matter. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get you laid quicker than you know. <laughs> that was the purpose of it, right? Yeah. I like the shorts. Quicker than Spanish uh, lies. Especially down on Santa Monica yeah, Boulevard. 
<laughs> right. All right, tell me, guys, uh, you, with the, the current album that you guys got, or CD that you got out right now, where's the best place for everybody to go to pick it up? Uh, best Buy, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, any of the catalog yeah. at Best Buy. Most of our stuff's too uh, on iTunes. iTunes? Right. Hopefully we'll have some, you know, we'll get some distribution when we're done with the record next right. year, so I would imagine we'll be able to get it anywhere. You know what, I, I kind of noticed, and I'm not putting any, please don't take this wrong, I'm not putting a damper on uh, Jeannie Lane, but what I noticed is when oh, Robert, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, is when I, I after the, you know, the, the, the videos that I've seen out on the internet, and when Robert stepped in, it's just like a new fire has lit up under you guys. Well, you get a professional out there out front that definitely lights a fire under your ass. It really does. You know what I mean? And, and um, you know, fortunately, we, we got them and we're stoked and it's not better than ever. Yeah, I mean, that's the main, you know, thing is local. Well, yeah, I have sure. I have pressure that, that coming in. That wink is weak. If it's not, you know, there's not too many cocktails. It's not good. You know? It's just. I agree. It's I mean, not I, gonna work. You know, yeah. No matter how good the band is, it's just not gonna work. And when you replace that with someone like Robert, it's, it's exciting. Everybody's like, "My God, you guys sound great." We're like, you sound the same. Yeah, yeah. Like, God, the band sounds sound better than you've ever had in no, 20 no. years, and it's like. But, but we do. It's, but it's, it's just that, that element. Stuff, but it's exciting, you know. There's a, there's a glimmer of hope. We can do things as well. Right. So all that combined. Well, actually, on I, uh, I was on the internet and I was reading. It said that, uh, Jean, of course, Jenny's been dismissed. But it actually says up there that I guess you're published. Put down that Robert has signed on to be a full-time member, correct? Oh yeah. Uh, he's signed, he's signed on, on for good. Been, he's been in the band since November of last year, I believe September. it was. So September. September. Yeah. September. Sep September. So. September. We get, we get this might be mind. new to you, but we've been doing this for uh, well, I know quite a while. It, right, but actually, I was speaking to Robert about it, and he says, "You know, I'm filling in for a few things right now." And it wasn't. Uh, that was this is way back in the day. Yes, when this is the day it happened. Day it happened. I saw you the day after. Right. Exactly. What was the day after? <laughs> the day I was going to say. Joey, Joey calls me. The baby was born. Yeah, we, exactly. we didn't know he was yeah. still thinking about I being in the I called band. him on Labor Day weekend, um, and we had actually jammed together with Robert. Shh, don't tell anyone. Before he got into the band. We, and uh, Janie, I think, was still in the band when we did that. But we just wanted to hear what it sounded like, and it made the hair on our on our necks, you know, collectively stand up. In a balls. And, uh, yeah, and then it just, you know, a month later, we had um, another meltdown out on the road, and uh, it was time to clip it and just... Well, I'm going to get to the dirt. But, I mean, you guys actually were speaking about this last year, right? Well, the thing was, no, I don't think so. exactly. Oh, no, no, we were. <laughs> exactly yeah. a year ago. What do you mean? Yeah. I think, I think here's what happened last had a year. Moment. At this point, we we knew that we <laughs> it was done. Out. It was done. Yeah. The writing was on the wall. It wasn't going to last. The juice was in the trash can. Exactly. Uh, the Friday of Rock, Oklahoma last year, Joey and I bumped into each other, and then Saturday I rolled over to their sound check. Because we had a BC show, so in early, you know, heinously early in the morning, and they were doing their sound check early as well. And uh, I was so happy that's to what happened. Singer awake at nine in the morning with coffee. I'm like, oh, <laughs> dude. God bless America. I didn't tell anybody I ran into him the night before because, to tell you honestly, I was trying to forget about another situation. And then he ran into Jerry that day, and Jerry's like, "Hey, you want to sing in our band?" <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Was like, yeah, we did it together. I'm like, I got yeah, Robert's number, and Joey's yeah. like. Got it. <laughs> yeah, we're like, yeah, we're it's a done deal. It's coming out for a barbecue, dude. Yeah. Well, it's exciting, and actually, you know, all of us, of course, with this genre of music, we all grew up with a band warrant, and it's finally nice to see a nice front man step up on stage and really light it up. Thank exactly. you, Corey. I appreciate it. Guys, definitely. Thank you. And I'm not saying that because you're my buddy, Robert. No, I, I mean, you know, straight up, yeah. It's taken it's about, in the best possible you know, way. I, I really appreciate that. It is. People forget it's about music. It's about you doing guys. these things. It sounded good. Are you guys yeah. lovers? Yeah, <laughs> we're neighbors. Not really. uh, we're neighbors. Well, we spooned a couple times. Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> it's lonely. Uh, well, the funny thing about it is, I actually got in a conflict with, with uh, one of my listeners about when Jeannie dismissed and how how terrible it was for you know everybody's brothers. You shouldn't do that to a brother. And I and I tried to explain to her. I says. It's really not about, it's a business, too. You have to look at it as a well, business aspect. No, we, aspect. we gave him, like, gave it every yeah. chance after chance after chance after chance. At least five chances in four months. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like we, he fell down drunk one day and we clipped him. I mean, he had a lot of opportunities to stay in this right. band, and he didn't want to. So. And that's Later. a good question, you know, good analogy, because a lot of people do say that. Like, oh, my God, they, you know, kicked him when he was down, and that that's bullshit. I you know? think so, too. We really, I mean, went above and beyond and you know, just at a certain point, you know, it's like, you know, you, you worry about him, off. but we're worried about us. Stop we, the bleeding, you know yeah, what I mean? You know, we yes. Have families and we have a Cut life. the head off. Yeah. Finally, yeah, it's you time. Stop the bleeding and move on. And, and yeah. it really, 
things worked out for the best. I mean, the band literally sounds better than we, we have, I think, ever. Right, right. It's that tight. I mean, we've gotten older and we're better players. And now with this guy on board, he's the pro he is. It's, it's, it's rocking. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, we're all on the same page and we all have the same goals and desires. And, and you're all music. smiling There's again. no drama, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, now, now all the bad weather went away, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. There's you're there. welcome. There's your you're welcome. Yeah. You no, did. <laughs> you're gonna have to kick him out because his ego's getting. Oh uh, please. <laughs> no, 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 one important point though is I, obviously I know I understand there's a lot of pressure on me, but I will tell you from the only pers the perspective I have is unique because I'm the only guy who has this perspective right now. For every fan and everybody else out there, me getting to play with these guys and be in this band, like Lynch Mob opened up for Warrant, right? So we knew each other, hadn't mm -hmm. seen him in years. Uh, there are people, you know, we just kind of bump into each other every once in a while, and then when this happened, yeah, pressure on me, but I love that. And then the thing is, I got four guys on stage with me that absolutely back it up. And I mean really back it up. But you work better under pressure. I, I kind of like that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's good stuff. I kind of like the, you know, no, that's the what squeeze his, That's what his chick says. He yeah. works better <laughs> under pressure. <laughs> he does. Oh, there you go, my friends. I know you guys are on a tight schedule. Awesome. I know they're dra yeah, they're dragging us out of here. They're dragging you all over the place. But uh, I want to say thank you for coming in here today, and it's all awesome right. to see you again, Robert. We'll see you back Same home. To see you, man. Good Thanks for and, having us. Uh, beautiful, and it's good to see all you guys again, Eric and everybody. So uh, stick around and check out these guys out here on their uh, www site is warrant dot com. There you go, my friends. You heard it right here on the Wild Side Radio Show, broadcasting from prior Oklahoma. Yes, stick around. I got more music coming your way and the best interviews you got your dirty little fingers on. Peace. Wild Side Radio Show. The best 80s music.